All right, welcome back again, very quickly, very soon to PC Building Simulator. That's right, another PC Building Simulator video right after yesterday's, right? And it's a follow-up to yesterday's because I made a mistake. And, uh, well, we're gonna go through that a little bit. So if you know, if you watched uh, yesterday, in yesterday's video, we made the most expensive PC that you can build in PC Building Simulator as a version 1.8. Uh, technically 1.8.1, but it doesn't matter, 1.8. So this is it. It's beautiful, it's almost $20,000, and it didn't work. It, it didn't actually work. Um, and, and if you haven't seen that, make sure you go back and look at yesterday's video first, probably before watching this. You can go through how we build it, what choices we made as far as components, what exactly we did to make sure it was as expensive as possible, and then uh, how it didn't work. And then you can come back to this video. But, in this video, we're gonna fix it. I got a comment from Caden Miller who said, I'm pretty sure it's your GPU loop. That's not the correct way to do it. Have the tube go in the bottom right. So here, it goes through the GPU block. That, so we go diagonally from the bottom right to the top left, then diagonally. So we're actually gonna do a tube from here to here to the bottom right of the next GPU. It goes through the GPU, and then we're gonna go diagonally from the top left port here into the CPU. So. Um, yeah, so I messed with this and I actually got it to work by changing some of my GPU uh, piping stuff. But at the same time, for some weird reason, when I was also testing this, and we'll see if it works now, I mean, nothing's guaranteed. It's all, this is all just, we're, all, we're making everything up right now. Uh, this is how I had it. I haven't changed anything. This is exactly how I had it at the end of the video, but I'm now magically able to fill the reservoirs. But I, this is how it is. Like, I checked. This is how I had it in the end of the video. So I don't know what changed. I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. But uh, I'm going to do it the way that Caden said, because I appreciate his comment. And I appreciate that he made me look at it, because by looking at it, it now works. I mm, don't understand. But anyway, we're going to do what he said. So we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to just change this slightly. We're going to go bottom right to top left, and then we'll go top left to top right. We'll do a little diagonal there. And then, uh, yeah, that will work. So coolant comes down, it goes through the GPU, it comes out this one, it goes through here, because these GPUs are directional and usually the right to left fitting. So we go there, we go through, and we go up and out, which does make sense. I would say that that is probably the most, that's, that's the way you're supposed to do it. The game typically, in my experience, hasn't cared, but uh, I think it does now. So. Uh, let's see, what should we do? I'm thinking green. Green opaque UV. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, we can watch the loop order if you didn't get to see that yet. Uh, well, you didn't get to see the coolant go through it because I didn't get it working. But it goes down. It goes it goes from re uh, Reservoir 1 down through the radiator in the bottom. That's a 480 rad from Corsair on the bottom. Goes through our GPUs like we just built. And then up into our CPU, out the CPU, up to our top 480 rad from Corsair. Ridiculous. Out that radiator. And across. And across. And into the front 480 rad and out and over in this insane bend that is horrible and we just hope no one looks at and then into the 480 rad and the top and the rear down and into the 360 rad from Ragin Tech, their fat boy rad there and out and up and then we're going to go through the actual motherboard tray and come back around to reservoir number two and then complete the loop back to reservoir one. And that's it. And it works. It actually works. And if you saw in the first video, I got everything hooked up. I actually got everything connected. Both reservoirs are connected. All of my radiators are connected. A 480, a 480, a 480, all spinning. Look at that beauty. And all four fans in the front and also my 480 around back and the 360. Everything is connected. It is finally finished. It's done. Uh, I wasn't able to build in this case and get everything connected for a while. I did it way back in like version 1.5 or 1.4 or something, and I could never do it again. Like, I just couldn't make it happen. I don't know if they changed the spacing or something, but I could never get the wiring to work and I couldn't get things to daisy chain right, but now I can. And I don't know if it's the motherboard, if it's something with an update, I don't know, but we've done it and it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Let's look at temps and 3D mark. Actually, I already did a 3D mark on this, so uh, it's kind of spoiler. 18,144. 
So that's not, you know, nearly as good as like a 9980XC system, like I have to my right, which we'll look at. Um, but this really wouldn't necessarily be for that specifically. So 18,144 compared to the same-ish, pretty much the same system, uh, but with a 9980XE. 20,455. This has two air-cooled 2080 Ti's, which uh, really shouldn't matter that much. I don't remember what the clock is on them, if that's really that different. Uh, 1850 core clock. What are these at? I did, I think, unlock the power limiter on these. Wow. Okay, those are actually... Those air-cooled cards are quite fast. Wow, they're a lot faster than this card. Uh, oh, I think they are maybe the fastest 20 ATI in the game. So that would affect the score a little bit, but really most of it is a uh, CPU score. But uh, the good news is temperatures are fixed. Look at this idle temperature, 54 degrees Celsius. Before, when I didn't have coolant loop, it was like, you know, 98, uh, 98. It was pretty high. And, and, and of course it was, of course it was, there was no coolant. So um, yeah, it's good now. Look at that, not even 60 C under load. And uh, power draw does get up there though. We we hit about 915 watts, which as I was watching it continue to rise and rise and rise, I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna hit the power limit of my 1200 watt ridiculously, absurdly, for no reason, expensive power supply? Uh, but no, we, do, we really don't get that close. So we've got plenty of headroom for, you know, better graphics cards, maybe? Maybe, next, next gen uh, Nvidia, maybe? Next gen AMD, possibly, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's it. The most expensive PC you can build in PC Building Simulator as of as a version 1.8, nineteen thousand nine hundred and seventy nine dollars, um, and everything works. It's all actually connected, and it's complete and total overkill. And I love it. I love it so much. So hopefully you love it too. And uh, if you do love it, and maybe you love this video, or maybe you just liked it, and you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. But hey, either way, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, where I hopefully don't build a computer wrong. But yeah, so, see ya.